No. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Fuck. No. Welcome to this video. My name is Maxime. On this channel, I do crochet, other creative stuff, and today I'm trying out something new because I like starting new hobbies. And when you are either knitting or crocheting, I think it's sort of like a pipeline you go down. We're gonna spin yarn on a drop spindle today. I'm so excited about this one. I'm surprised that I was able to wait until filming this video uh, to try it out. I got a bunch of yarn. Uh, if you've seen my previous vlog, you might know. I got these two. I like these so much that I wanted to try to spin my first yarn with another fiber. So I bought more. I bought some cotton, some merino wool, and hemp but i bought it without doing research first after doing my research i figured out that this is the way to go first wool seems to be easier to spin because it's not as soft and slippery so i think i'm just gonna dive in with this one first i got this spindle on amazon it was pretty much the cheapest i didn't want to invest a whole lot of money in my first spindle so yeah just a very basic one it was about 10 bucks i believe as for preparation, I watched two videos, one on how to work with a bat and another one just on the basic stuff about how to spin on a spindle. I linked them in a playlist below. Normally I like to do a whole lot of research, but this time I didn't want to do a whole lot of research and I just want to dive in and just experiment and learn that way. I just know the basics, so let's just get started, shall we? So the first thing I need to do is to prep the wool a little bit. Um, there are little specks of just dirt that get stuck in, in fleece of sheep, I guess. I hope they will just disappear while I'm spinning because I don't want to pick it all out. Maybe to pick little pieces like this one. I haven't even unrolled it yet. Oh, there are quite a lot of pieces that are um, that need to be picked out. I don't know if you can see it. There are a lot of little specks in there. I think I might take some time to... Uh, do that now because here there's just a little bit of grass or straw. This is one of those things like just yarn things in general. It takes uh, patience. It asks of you to slow down. So I figure this is not how you expected this video to start, right? You clicked on this video and you were like, yeah, show me the money. Um, I guess that's not my style. I am slowly figuring out um, how I want to film. And I had in mind as well for this video, like, yeah, just do it uh, fast. Just show the highlights and all of that. But this is also part of it. And I want to show that as well. I think I got the worst of it out. I'm just going to pre-draft the wool for now. Um, I think just one of these pieces will be <laughs> enough to start. I think it will take me... Uh, a while to get through the first bit. Let's just go with this one for now. Although I can just do them all, just roll them up and then they are, are ready um, for later. Am I doing it from the wrong side? I think I am. Next round, okay, we'll do it from the other side. I believe I was pulling it like this. Yes, I was. There we go. Look at it. So much. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, first off, I'm going to have to make a leader. You can make a leader from um, commercial yarn. But I don't like that. Let me check out what the staple length of this is. Okay. Yeah. Starting to twist the leader. Oh, boy. I'm trying to figure out the staple length here. And I need to relax my hands because I'm having like a death grip on it. That will not help me. Oh. Kind of pretty. Look at it. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see it. I am figuring this shit out as we go. 
Okay, now I see why. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. Sort of. And I just... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you do with your hands, man? I think I just need to find a way to hold this bit and then find a way to put this part on the shaft. How? <laughs> Do this. I feel like getting a clip to clip on here. Oh wait, I can just okay, yes, 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 yes. I can just do this. There was a thing that people do. It's like, okay, we'll just wrap it around like that. That should be good enough, I guess. How long should you make this? Yeah, let's just do this, okay? My perfectionist is killing me sometimes it, it has to be like one thickness right from the start you know like that's reasonable not at all you have to find a way to spin it in there i like it because you feel it like where your fingers meet the spun yarn you start to feel that the twist is getting towards your fingers i'm not sure if this is gonna work yeah it is Look at that. I don't know how strong it is. Don't don't try it out. Just don't. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. That is so freaking cool. Oh my god, I love it. Then you take it off. And put it on there. Look at it. My first spun yarn. That's amazing. I've heard people say like you have to hold this bit as if you're holding a, li a, a tiny little bird, you know? And now I get why they say it. Because that death grip, it is making the yarn, um, I don't know, it's, it's harder to get like thinner yarn when you have that death grip. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hot in here from all the excitement. Let go. Yes, okay, I need to tie my hair. <laughs> Gonna pre draft a little bit more. Still figuring out how to draft. Soften the grip, soften the grip. Okay, let's just. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm leaving bits behind. I need to get like a feel for drafting this because that's, uh, that's what's causing like a little bit of trouble while I'm doing this. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> because I keep going up, but then I'm, I was pretty much here, but this bit is not like uh, <laughs> coming along, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a way to put that in there. Death grip. <laughs> Gotta release it, man. Oh my god. It's starting to look like something. I need to release my grip. That's what I'm going for. That right there. When it starts to feel easy, I believe that's the feeling you need to get. That's really a tiny piece to get twisted in. Okay. There we go. That, yes, there, that, okay, yes, yes, got it, well, sort of, I believe that's about the staple length then, I thought it was shorter, this is more even already, you can see that I started to get a little bit of a feel for, for it in that, that little bit, I had this intention of doing suspended spinning in this video, I'm still going to do it, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to go well. <laughs> I'm very curious to see. Oh, no. Here I do it again. It's like I am drafting, but I'm leaving this bit behind. Okay, I'm just going to do this and then attach it again. Nope. That didn't go well. Okay. I think it has to be a little bit bigger. Okay, yes. Okay. 
this is fun. I'm so excited about this. I cannot wait to make like super pretty freaking color combinations and stuff. Loosen the grip, man. Loosen the grip. I did it again. <laughs> I really, really freaking love this. I'm so happy I can take you on this journey with me. Because this is oftentimes something like, yeah, I, I tell my friends and family about it, you know, and they think it's cool, but they don't share the interest, you know, and if you're watching this, you are actually interested in this. So it's fun to share it with you. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Do you see where I had death grip? Like this was okay. This was okay. And then bam, grabbed it like <laughs> my life depended on it. It's funny because as soon as I noticed that there is like more um, wool getting spun, like more than I intended to, then I start to hold on tight. And that is when more yarn gets spun, if that makes sense. Like then it is harder to draft and make it thinner. You need to draft it to make it thinner. But when I grab it, it is, I don't know, you can't draft it. Let's just finish this bit this way. And then we will do the suspended uh, spinning, okay? Sometimes you go into some sort of flow movement and then it just feels, it, it feels just right, you know? <laughs> that easeful uh, state that just hits the right spot. Or when you listen to music and it just hits you like in your core, you know? You are just completely present. That's the feeling I just got. I love that. That's why I love meditation and that sort of stuff as well. Because that's the only way to um, experience, uh, well, not the only way, but uh, meditation helps you experience presence. And this as well. And that makes me very happy. Like it makes me almost emotional. And I know that sounds weird to some, but I'm a very emotional being, okay? We all are, but yeah. Some things just hit right. I love that. I am going to take a little break after this because, I don't know, my hands are getting tired. I think it's time for my brain to catch up. And then after the break, we will... Um, do the suspended spinning. I'm just going to attach the new piece. That's a messy join. <laughs> Look how pretty. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can fix it a little bit because I really don't like that. Put them together. Well, still not a pretty join, but it's better than what it was just a minute ago. Okay, so far I am really fucking enjoying this process, like really, really a lot. Um, this is how far I got. I think I've been uh, spinning for about an hour, maybe even longer. But yeah, the time is flying. That's always when you're having fun, right? As you can see, there are many different uh, yarn weights here. <laughs> Let's take that break and then we'll... Do the suspended spinning. That's going to be fun. We're going to do it. I really think this is not going to go well. But we have hope. Let me make it clear that I don't have the full feeling for it yet. <laughs> so this is not going to go very well. But maybe it stops spinning so quickly. I know. Continuous spinning doesn't help here. Maybe it stops spinning early also because I need to draft faster. I can do it. I can do it. Go. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh. oh. If you want to be successful in this way, with this thing, then you at least need to have a little bit of a feeling for it. I can see how when you pre-draft more that it is easier. I think that's it. You just need to have a little bit of a good start. Maybe that will help. 
How can you make it spin longer? It's freaking impossible. I need to take a breath. Relax. <laughs> I'm blocking the twist pretty, pretty early on. And I need to find a way to move quicker, I believe. I think park and draft is my way to go for now. Hold up. No! <laughs> And that was the first time I dropped my drop spindle. <laughs> yeah, it was about time. But not because the yarn broke. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. It's funny, if you do it for something like YouTube, then your mistakes are just entertainment, you know? Almost dropped it again. I am just fucking around in a way that just is not productive. You have to admit defeat when you are there. <laughs> I am admitting defeat, okay? I wish I could have been that genius kid, you know? Like, oh yeah, easy peasy. Works on the first try. But nah, sorry, I'm not. That's troubleshoot, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Spindle stopping too soon or back spinning. Yarn too thick or spindle too light. Or the leader is too short. Okay. Alrighty. Let's try again. Okay, that was two times already. That's good. <laughs> okay, my fiber was breaking, so I thought it was smarter to <laughs> let the spindle hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Can I make it heavier? How could I make it heavier? Just gonna draft thinner yarn. As simple as that. It's a tactic, okay? I'm doing it on purpose. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Fuck. No. No. Learn to walk before you can run. Well, I just want to run, man. Let me try to run. Final tries, okay? After this is finished, we're finished. Ooh, what would it look like if we just let it twisty twist? Hold up. Wait, if I apply it, this will be sort of the look of it. That's kind of cool. Even though I do like, I think I'm not going to apply this one. Should I? Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Should I apply it or not? I'm leaning towards leaving it as a single. This is my first spun yarn, and I am actually really freaking happy by how it looks, even though it is not consistent at all. I knew that wasn't gonna happen because it, I'm, I'm freaking new to it. So it's good. I like it. I like doing it. I am excited about improving. I'm excited about learning more and getting better. What jumps out at me right now is I really need to loosen my grip like big time, um, especially if I want to spin suspended. So that's what I'm gonna work on. I think I should really focus on finding that staple length. So I think the next session in the coming days, I'm really going to focus on those two things. And I think the rest will um, come naturally as a result of that. As soon as I really start to feel it, I can move on to suspended uh, spindling. Spindling? Suspended spinning. But yeah, that was it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it because it helps the channel. And also subscribe if you feel like watching more of my spinning journey or crochet or other creative stuff in general. I will paint a little bit more and of course I will be making more yarn, but I will also be making more crochet content and maybe even knitting because I'm getting into knitting. That's it for now. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.